with our uh, understanding of the exposure triangle and how ISO, shutter speed, and aperture relate to each other, um, I'm going to point you to this website from Canon, which is uh, gives you kind of a basic understanding through this Photography 101 page. Okay, So I'll have you read through this. Um, it just kind of reiterates um, uh, essentially what settings you're going to choose uh, and when you'll choose them to get uh, correct type of image and what mood you're going for. Um, read through this 101 page. The learn home here is more concerned for manual settings, which we're not really doing. So if you just read through the photo photography 101 page, it should kind of um, help you understand the principles that we talked about earlier in the week. When you're done there, and I'll just make these both um, links in the modules page, but when you're done there, go to the play tab right here. And what this has is it's got a little wind up plane um, and then it's got various things which are in focus um, in the foreground and in the background depending on um, what your aperture settings will be okay so again to read <coughs> to read the meter you're looking to have things lined up here at zero okay um, so you will adjust these three remember this is our exposure triangle here you'll adjust aperture you'll adjust shutter speed and you'll adjust ISO. So what I'll have you do is play around with these until you feel like um, you understand what, you, what each of these will um, um, yield when you take the picture, right? So maybe shoot all the way down here at f2.8 and then adjust these settings in order to get here, right? And then, you know, adjust them all the way up to f22 and then adjust the other settings till you get um, a decent exposure here where it says exposure meter good exposure right and then you know so play with the play with the maximums of each and see what they yield in their um, rendered picture here okay um, when you're done with that um, there is a little quiz you can take um, where it says challenge up here okay and uh, it will say, put your photo stills to the test. Ready? Start your challenge now. So this is saying, get a good exposure with uh, the, the propeller spinning, which will be a relatively slow shutter speed. And since I can see that the foreground is blur blurred and the background is blurred, I know that the image I need to be using has a very low aperture value and then a shutter speed probably around 1 60th of a second, okay? So I'm gonna hit ready go. And I'm gonna have my aperture value all the way down low. My shutter speed about 1 60th, I would say, right about there, take the picture. And then check, we got it, okay? So when you, f when you get through all of those, I think there's about six, um, you can take a screenshot of that and then submit that um, as your um, submission, okay? So I'll just, um, oh, I missed it. Um, oh, I did it. Hey, all right. Okay. Um, blur the foreground and the black background. So you'll you'll get through all these, um, and then when you get um, when you complete it, take a screenshot of that page, and then submit that for uh, the assignment. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. Jsmith at murrayschools.org. Hope you're all doing well. See you soon.